Hello everyone, GameTrovert here, and today in this episode of How To City Skylines, I'm going to show you how to install mods, maps, save games, and other assets. Once you've downloaded the game in Steam, have it clicked, click Community, and it's going to take you to the Community Workshop. From here you can literally download maps people have made, mods people have designed, saved games which have existing cities, or any asset that you could probably ever want. First, let's show you how to download a map. Click Map. I will arrange by top rated. And this is incredibly simple. All you do is you click either this green box or once you open up the actual workshop window and you can read a little bit about it this is mostly in German I don't read German you just click subscribe that's it once you click subscribe Steam will automatically download and install everything you need same goes for mods let's look at mods see I already have installed first person camera automated bulldozing so why don't we also do tree brush but instead of, I know what tree brush is. I've done my research. So instead of clicking here, just click this little window. Downloading, installed. Boom goes the dynamite. You can also do it for saved games. You can also do it for saved games. Probably the best one, Los Santos for GTA 5. I'll download that one. And then you can download any asset that you could possibly want. Let's look at parks. And in parks, I'll download this baseball field. And then when you're ready to actually play the assets that you've downloaded, all you do is exit out of Steam and open City Skylines. Let's take a look. All right, guys, now that we're back inside the game, the way you access what you've downloaded, go to Content Manager. And if you look here in Maps, the map I downloaded on Steam is already loaded in. You could toggle whether you want to access them or not. If it's off, basically you can't access it from the Start New Game feature. If it's on, you can. Same with Save Games. This is now a saved game in my loadout. So if I go to Load Game, there it is right there. Los Santo GTA 5. And then... To same with assets. If you've downloaded an asset, I downloaded Tim Hortons, a different interchange and some different parks. They're automatically on. You could toggle those off. And then the mods over here are all always automatically off unless you turn them on. You'll get a little disclaimer when you try to turn them on. And if they're on, when you go to load a game, as you see, this little icon shows you you can still get your achievements, but if you have mod mods installed, when you go to load your game, you will no longer be available to have achievements. There is actually a mod for being able to get achievements with mod. It's, it's very mod inception, but that's it. That's all you have to do to download mods. So let's end the video by showing this Los Santo GTA 5 map. And there we go. I did nothing special, just basically subscribe to this map and now it is available for me to play. Isn't that cool? Well anyways guys, that's a quick and easy way to show you how... Well guys, that's pretty much it. That's the quick and easy way to download mods and put install them into City Skylines. Very simple. Hope this was helpful. If this video helped you out, give me a like, maybe enough subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Bye!